Some things, well, they just give you the warm and fuzzy feeling, right? Well, this event, literally, that's true. Uh, tie one on for brain cancer. Scarves, hats, we've got other handcraft, handcrafted items that are sold. Every cent goes to the National Brain Tumor Society. The woman behind this sale is here, Mary Senf. Good to see you again, Mary. Good to see you. Mike and Mary, we're back again, aren't we? Yes. Good to see you. Would At you, least there's a Mary here. There's a Mary, Mike and Mary here. Uh, remind us about your story because you are a brain cancer survivor. I am. Um, I was in grad school 2003 and I'd had a CAT scan of my sinuses and um, had nothing to do with a brain tumor, but found on the scan that something was there and um, de identified, yes, so it was a brain tumor. You didn't have any symptoms, though. Zero, no symptoms yeah, at all. Yeah. And that's the unfortunate thing. There's no way to screen. There's no way to, you know, identify as someone going to have a brain tumor. It's it's unfortunate. We need yeah. more research. And that led to a diagnosis mm -hmm. and then that started your long journey. Yes, uh, it did. How, what was that journey like? Uh, things were good for a number of years. Uh, in 2008, they identified that it had grown and wanted to start treatment. So I did chemo and radiation in 2008 and 2009. Yeah. Um, and since then, things are things are good. My scans are always good. You're doing well. You're returning to the doctor for regular visits to make sure there's no yes. reoccurrence. Yep. Well, I'm glad you're doing good. Thank and you. And I'm glad this event has, in its fifth year, has taken off again. This is uh, the fifth year for Taiwan on for brain cancer. What inspired you to do this? Because you have all kinds of items that we're going to show here in a second. Sure. Uh, you know, you always think about the 5Ks and the, mm -hmm. you know, races and the golf tournaments. But those aren't all things that people can be involved in. And in Nebraska, everyone needs a warm hat and everyone needs a scarf. And it's, you know, it's cold weather. So we have people who... Um, they knit and crochet. We have people who come to the come to the event and buy items. So it involves everyone. You have a very nice scarf on, and I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that this is one of the the items that uh, comes from Taiwan. Taiwan. It, it, yes, it is. It's one of our donated items. It it will be for sale. Mm -hmm. I just wore it today to right. show it off. And now this, this is going to go for a lot more now that you came on. Oh, the absolutely. Blend with this thing. I'm famous. Yeah. It's who, famous. Do, who made this one? This specific one. You know. You know, I actually don't even. I couldn't even because tell they come you. in from all over. They right? come in from all over the United States. Um, yeah. It's entirely possible this might be my sister's work. I kind of can start <laughs> right. identifying people's, right. Right. people's some work. Of their work. Can we go over some of this stuff that you brought you in? What did you bring you in today? Because you have well, hats and, and, of course, of Husker course, stuff. We have Husker stuff. And I know we've got plenty of people who are still behind the Huskers. Mm -hmm. And we want, you know, we want to keep them going and promoting. But we have things that are so unique. I mean, this, this is a purse. This purse. It's, like it's a, a handbag, purse right? that was made, you know, by hand by someone. So, um, you know, we've got cupcake hats. We've mm -hmm. got owl hats. You name it, there's something that you're going to want. And you can see on this, I don't know um, if we can get a shot of this, but um, here's the tag right here. Mm -hmm. And every one of your pieces has this tag on there. H how do people, how do they get these tags, first of all? And then and, and, and talk about where these pieces come from. Sure, sure. So we have these individuals that are amazing and committed. Mm -hmm. um, we order the tags. I have an event where everyone comes to my house and sews tags on hundreds and hundreds of items. Um, and so it's a it's a commitment to to making sure that when someone buys an item that they can show it off and say this is what this is for. Yeah, well, the money raised. Where does this, have you been? What have you been able to do with the money raised from this event uh, in terms of uh, tumor research, and sure, brain cancer sure. research? Sure, um, sure. Well, my family feels very strongly that every penny that is donated goes to the National Brain Tumor Society. So we cover all of our own costs to host the event. Um, we are lucky enough to get some in-kind donations. For example, this year we have beer from Farnham House Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, so that's fantastic. Um, but we want research. We need research. And in order to do that, we need funding. So we donate everything to the National Brain Tumor Society, who works very closely, not just with patients, but also with uh, getting government funding from the Institutes of Health, all of that kind of thing. Yeah, is there any way to screen uh, for brain tumors? Is there any screening process? There is. Have they, have they come uh, far at all? No, no, and and really it's, they, they don't even know what the causes are. Um, so it's it's looking at things like how, how do we start screening? How do we start identifying? Is there any kind of trend? Where's the, do you see progress being made? Is there progress, where's the progress being made at in terms of, in terms of research? There is so much progress, but we're just not even close to being able to identify how it starts, what is a cure, none of mm -hmm. that. Um, there was a great show on 60 Minutes about using the polio vaccine mm -hmm. um, in order, excuse me, the polio virus in order to um, treat, and there's been some luck with that. So 
but of course it all depends on funding. It does, and I, th I think it was a great story that you told me uh, before this segment started. You were down putting up flyers, mm -hmm. I think down in the old market somewhere, and uh, you stopped into a store to see if you could put a flyer in their store, and you ran into one of their customers, I think. Yes. That um, recently. I, right, I was telling them about the event at the, at, and hoping to, to put up a flyer, and a woman asked, what is this about? And she uh, had just a few weeks ago lost her sister to brain cancer. And this is a young person. This was a young human being. I have a friend right now who's in hospice who is um, losing his battle. And again, he's a young, productive human being if he mm -hmm. hadn't had a brain tumor. Yeah, and if you wanna help support uh, research and awareness for this uh, for brain cancer Friday at six o'clock six to nine it's at the artist cooperative gallery that's right down in the old market right down there and the website Ty went on for braincancer.org is this something that viewers can just show up to uh, Absolutely. and shop for a lot of these everyone, great items? everyone is welcome um, it's an open event head down have a great time in the old market and and stop by thanks for bringing your stuff in glad to hear you you're bet. doing well again thank yeah, you we'll see you next time okay.